Hi guys, it's Finnevar here and I am very happy to show you my new set of pastes which is called uh, Patina Effect Paste from Art Extravagance line. This is new release that uh, is coming now to the market. Uh, it's um, January 2017 release and if you know my Rust Paste uh, set, this is like a sister product to this one so I hope you already know more or less uh, how to use it but my job today is to show you what you can do with that and how easy it is to use really so as you can see it comes in a set of three in a little box just like the rust paste set and it means that it has three colors inside i'm going to show you that now here so there are two colors of the patina there is patina in blue and patina in mint green and this color of the metallic paste which is called brass and if you open the jars you will see this brass color it's more like a creamy kind of uh, beautiful texture paste and two other colors are more like textured paint it has some grit in it so you can see the blue one has a delicate a coarse finish and then the mint color is more coarse so to get the effects we really need to use at least two of these products so the blue patina and the green patina and of course we can combine it with the metallic color and it's all very very um, fun to use it's easy to apply and the effects are instant so these are not real effects or of the uh, chemical reaction. These are um, water-based pastes uh, that are imitating um, the effect of the patina on the metal. So you can put it basically on anything. And today I have a project to show you uh, examples. My um, metallic um, finish embellishments from Mechanicals line, so the Barn Stars with patina and as it is in the package simple or another example this is piece of um, plaster or paper, paper clay looks like that before uh, coloring it's really really fun to use so maybe let's start and I will explain um, more once we start using the, the paste for application the best tools will be some old brushes or some sponges. If you don't have anything metallic you would like to alter, you can just start simply with using this paint or paste and then after drying you can apply these colors on the top and then add more. If you have something done of metal like this, you can just start directly on the metal making sure this is a matte finish because if it's very glossy I would start with a little bit of gesso first. So I made something already. This is um, this is a brush and I altered this brush adding embellishments to it but as you can see this um, set of embellishments it's like a mixture of everything like all of my projects it has a little bit of this and a little bit of that so to play safe because I'm not sure which of these are going to be slippery which of these are going to be uh, really matte I'm going to put a coat of gesso on the top and this is my first step I'm just taking gesso this time I've got my clear gesso and I take a brush and I'm going to paint one coat of clear gesso on the top of everything because here we've got a, really a mixture of and every possible <laughs> supply there are some chipboard some metal um, it is just safer to make sure that everything is matte and in, in a way waterproof so it's not absorbing that much of the uh, paint inside or paste inside it is uh, it's really having this matte finish so all the next layers are going to stick better to it and really you don't have to be very precise on this kind of project with your gesso because this is going to be textured and antique looking anyway so I would say thin coat is enough anything goes and I'm just going to 
apply it everywhere on my brush and then I will dry it with my heating gun and we are ready to go. I dried my gesso, so it is almost invisible on the embellishments. You can see my mechanical uh, hair locket turned a little bit more matte. You can still see a little bit of the whitish um, color in the edges. It's okay, it's going to be dry in a moment. I'm ready to start with uh, my um, patina set. And as I uh, mentioned before, you can just simply repaint the elements you'd like to be metallic using the brass patina paste uh, from the set or uh, you can just cover everything completely with these, these two colors to start if you're planning to have a lot of patina I'm trying to uh, do a little bit more of the metallic look especially here on the bristle of the brush so I'm going to start with the uh, brass uh, patina paste and I'm just going to repaint the places I would like to look more metallic and it's <laughs> very simple. You can see the consistency is quite nice and creamy. If you prefer, uh, you can use any of my metallic paints from Art Alchemy line instead. It's going to work really well. The only catch is you have to make sure this layer of paste or paint is going to be dry before you are going to add um, green or uh, blue patina on the top. We don't want them to mix. So as you can see, I didn't cover too much. I know that I'm going to apply quite a lot of the green and blue and uh, I will have to add a little bit more of the metallic look on the top so I can stop here. And now it's time to apply blue and green and you can apply them in the same time, just mixing and blending directly on the project. And it's better to use older brushes for this because as you remember, there is some um, texture in the blue paste and in the green paste and I'm just going to start maybe with this big brush to go as deep in the details as possible and trying to just brush it on the top of the project it's <laughs> really hard to say there is a wrong or right way of doing it just adding colors now covering everything with the patina colors. So now I've got um, one coat of the patina colors applied. Mostly you can see the mixture of blue and green, something between two tones. And it's not perfect, of course. There are some places when I didn't really cover everything. So it's not a problem. I'm going to dry it with the heating gun now and then reapply the uh, colors in places I would like to cover better, maybe using smaller brush now. It's easier to see where are the spots that you missed when uh, the patina is dry. After drying, I'm going to take a smaller brush and as you can see again, I'm trying to use the very old, um, not very big brush and I'm going to add some touches, maybe with some greens here and there and trying to fill the empty spaces, checking if there's any spot that I missed. Because uh, my point is to create the look that patina is really having this crusty structure on the top of this project. So 
so here we go this should be enough and before I'm going to add final touches with metallic uh, paste or paint or maybe even wax um, I'm going to dry it again with the heating gun the paste is going to turn permanent after maybe 10 to 20 minutes but to speed up the process of course you can use heating gun um, this is the brush after drying so so far we have um, elements glued with heavy body gel from Art Basics then we've got a coat of clear gesso um, also from Art Basics just to give it the matte finish and then application of the brass paste and two colors of patina paste so we've got a green and blue patina applied just with the old brush as much as you can now because as I told you there's some coarse finish you can rub off this extra sand from the top because we're going to uh, rub metallic finish on the top so if you feel there's a little bit too much you can just give it nice rub with your fingers well um, I guess this is it so we are ready for the application of the uh, metallic finish on the top um, it's not very sophisticated technique as you can see so dabbing the colors rubbing off the excess and then putting another color on the top that's how it works you can use a metallic paint or you can use the same uh, brass paste that is um, um, included in the set and other option is using some waxes, so I'm going to show you both options. There's this uh, rich copper and aged brass from Art Alchemy, uh, waxes that were released in the same time as the patina. So one of the ways will be just uh, rubbing this paste on the top of your finger. However, try to make sure you don't have too much. It's more like really dry brushing on the top. So you can see, you can just add the details back a very simple way touching with your finger any edges you would like to highlight this is just amazing how the depth is going to come back now once you start rubbing metallic effects so you can see I'm using my hand as a palette but for me it's easier to feel how much of the product that we have on, on my finger. How amazing is that? Just in a moment you are adding a lot a lot of detail. If you would like to try and wax instead the same way of application just with your finger you can take a little bit of the wax again you can use your hand as a palette and just patiently rub it on anywhere you would like to see the effect it's so simple and it's so fun to do and combination of two tones is also a very good idea because it's going to be more interesting You can see how the details are visible now and how the project is catching the light now. It's just amazing and the look is really antique and really um, convincing. It looks like something corrugated, patinated and um, it is really this crusty, crusty finish. If you feel that you can't put your finger in the details, like here, I would probably love to touch this gear a little bit more you can try use smaller brush i would just probably get one that is more flat and maybe just try to rub these details a little bit in a delicate way and after that just let it dry and your project is finished it's very very simple and I'm really excited how amazing effects you can get using just three jars 
of patina maybe combining with some beta waxes so all you can see here it's just possible to do using two shades of blue and uh, blue and green and a uh, shade of uh, brass and it is possible to apply on any surface as long as it is um, primed with gesso or is it matte it's very very um, enjoyable to do and you can really play creating elements for your projects or uh, covering the whole project as you could see here you can create elements for home decor projects for uh, mixed media projects anything that you would like to have so from here to here it's literally five to ten minutes what i really love about this effect it is instant you can make amazing uh, art just in minutes you don't have to wait for this a reaction to happen and um, you can pretend this is real uh, patina on your project it, as long as it is going to be for decorative purposes it is just perfect you don't have to do any special sealing or um, any special techniques on the top of that once it is dry it is more or less permanent if you feel that you're going to touch it a lot with your fingers you're going to um, make it wet you can put a coat of matte varnish on the top and it's going to work really well so i hope you enjoyed and please um, if you would like to learn more about waxes or maybe about the uh, rust paste which is similar product to patina please check my other videos because they are waiting for you there thank you so much for watching and it was finnevar from prima marketing uh, yeah i hope to see you later bye